Hey, how you doing? This is Tony from Six Screen Corner, and in this lesson, I am going to show you how to play three easy rush solos. Yes, Alex Lyson had some solos that mm, may be considered easy, that you just might be able to pull off with very minimal technical expertise. So let me show you what they are. <laughs> So this one is Time Stand Still. This is really kind of a guitar solo, more of an instrumental for the whole band, but Alex's guitar does stick out here, and so I'm gonna kind of call this a guitar solo. I do cover this song up in depth in a video literally about how to play this song. That's somewhere up here, you'll see it. Uh, go ahead and click that, and I'll get into the details and how to play the song, as well as this solo. So I break that down a lot, so you can get over to that video real quick. But let me just give you a snapshot. It's really playing between... All we're doing is we're going between four and six on the G, five and four on the B, and occasionally we'll add the open B or the open E. that I'm going to show you is from their live versions, uh, their concert versions, because on the studio album, it, it's really, you can't really play it. There's like layers of guitar upon layers of guitar. It's really hard to pull that off. So what, what I'm showing you here is what Alex actually did on tour. Um, he played it this way, and it was really just those three positions. He would just sort of move from here up to here and to here, and I'm going to show you that in just a second. So just so you know, this is not off the studio album, but it's more off the live album. The solo really only requires one technique. That's it. And so what you're going to do is you're going to do a bend, whole step bend. That note you're bending to is right here on this string. It's so like, for example, I'm bending at the ninth fret, and then I'm pressing my pointer finger on the B string on the 7th fret. And what I do is I bend the G string note to match the other note. That's it. Now I will say that it will require a little bit of finger strength, so especially the one that's played down here might be a little tough. So hey, you know what, if nothing else, this is a great one to work on the finger strength for these two fingers right here, because it'll definitely help out for that. Here's how it goes. You just saw three positions, and I'm doing the exact same thing on all three. The one here is um, where my pointer finger's on the second fret, B, and I'm bending on the fourth fret on the G, and I'm doing that technique. Right? Now I'm trying to, I'm also doing a little bit of vibrato in there, a little shaky, shaky thing there. All right, the next one here is first one I just showed you, seven, nine. Okay, and then I go back to the second fret here. And then I'm gonna go way up here and do the octave, which is 14th fret, 16th fret, and bend it here. And then back to here on the nine, seven. <laughs> do is Driven off the Test for Echo album. Kind of a deep cut maybe to some of you. It's not as popular as Tom Sawyer, but it is a really cool 
song and some really cool guitar work in here. The solo is not that hard. It does help if you had this uh, whammy bar, but it's not really required or necessary. Here's what I do. So it starts with the bass. Right, he does that kind of one time through, and then Alex sort of fades in on a, um, it's a fast fade on this note here. All right, now everything is kind of really sustained, so you'll probably have some some gain, some distortion, some reverb, delay, anything to kind of let that note just kind of sustain out. Now I did it right here, which is on the eighth fret on the B string. And then it sort of holds and then dives bombs a little bit. It's not, it doesn't have to be precise, but there is kind of a dive bomb thing where it dives down and then comes up to the seventh fret on the D string. That's an A note. And it kind of holds there a little bit. Now there's some other layers of guitar that are also in this, um, but this is kind of the simplest way to do it. So you're sort of just doing this to one pick, let it dive down and then dive up if that's the thing up to the a note here on this note right right here like just like that and let it sustain a little bit it helps to have the whammy bar you don't necessarily have to have it just let that sort of ring out and right before we kick into the next lick we're going to play this now the song right before this far cry we did this exact same technique we're going to bend here on, uh, what is this, the uh, 14, 15th fret on the G string and 13 on the B string. And we bend this note here into the note that's on the B string. Just one time. And then we go two frets up and do the exact same thing. And then we go to the next part. And here we're going to play this. So that is simply on 22, 22nd fret on the B string. You do a little bit of double picking and then let it sit. And then you're going to go up here on 9, or 22, 20 on the E string. Do the exact same thing. <laughs> 